Hello and welcome to Sparkles. Hi everybody, it looks like you've been having a fabulous February. We really enjoyed seeing your photos of your building your snowmen and building your dens and some of those clever boys made amazing pizzas didn't they? Yeah they, they did. They looked really Fantastic. tasty. So we've got a, a great sparkle session for you today. We've got some stories and some craft. And we've got some really great songs that we hope the kids will really enjoy. Yeah, so enjoy, have fun. Hi boys and girls, well for today's story we're going to tell you a little something about somebody called Saul who lived a long time ago. One day Saul was walking down the road to a place called Damascus and all of a sudden there was a massive blinding light in the sky and along came Jesus. And Jesus came along and he said to Saul, you're a bit of a grumpy person, aren't you? I think from now on you should be nice and kind to people. So I'm going to give you the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit to live inside you. Wow, said Saul. And Jesus says, and now I'm going to call you a different name. From now on, your name is going to be called Paul. Oh, okay, said Paul. Wow, that's amazing. Well, Paul went on to be very, very kind to lots of people, and he made lots of friends all over the place. Some friends he made were in a place called Galatia. So these are some of Paul's friends in Galatia. I think they must have liked eating fruit actually. Look, here's one of them is holding some bananas. And uh, 
something very sad happened. The people in Galatia started to be a bit mean to each other and that made Paul very upset. So he decided to message them. And he said, just like a tree will produce nice fruit, like oranges, lemons, bananas, good people will produce good fruit too, if they have the Spirit of God living inside them. Uh, this is a plum tree. We can tell that because the bark here is a lovely plum brownie colour. And very soon, in the springtime, all these little buds are going to turn into leaves and flowers and then plums will start to appear. And they are a bit yummy. And this is a crab apple tree. Here's the very small, tiny apples and we leave these on all over the winter so the birds can feed on them. Just like a tree will produce nice fruit, like oranges, lemons, bananas, good people will produce good fruit too if they have the Spirit of God living inside them. And that can make you good boys and girls because you will start to produce spirit fruit like love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Wow, that's a lot to remember, said his friends in Galatia. Well, all it means, said Paul, is you just have to have the Spirit of God living inside you and then you will be nice people. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it, you can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana The fruit of the spirit's not a banana You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it, you can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. If you wanna be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it, you can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love and joy, peace, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hi Sparkles, as our story is about fruits of the spirit today, we thought it would be nice to make some fruit kebabs. 
All you need is your favourite fruit cut up and some skewer sticks. I've chosen to put nine fruit on mine, one for each of the fruits of the spirit. One for love, one for joy, one for peace, one for patience, one for kindness, one for goodness, one for faithfulness, one for gentleness and one for self-control. They're really lovely to make. They're nice and refreshing and healthy. And if you haven't got any skewers at home, don't worry because you can take your fruit and you can arrange it on a plate and you can just make it into a lovely fruit rainbow instead. Have a look at these ones I've done. Now it's your turn to have fun and make some of your own. Dear Lord Jesus, as we finish our sparkle session today, we want to thank you for being our friend, our guide and for loving us no matter what we've done in our lives. Lord, we pray that as our wonderful sparkles, boys and girls, grow into lovely men and women, that you will fill their lives with your spirit and they will truly grow filled with joy, with love, peace, with kindness, with faithfulness, with goodness, with patience, with gentleness and self-control. Bless them all, Lord. Amen. Well, everybody, we hope you've enjoyed Sparkles with us here this week. We've had uh, great fun sharing with you all and we hope you like those yummy fruit skewers. Yeah, they were very nice, weren't they? And we hope you enjoyed the fun songs and the lovely story too. Yeah. And we've got an invitation to all the mums, dads and the grandparents out there. Uh, we're starting an alpha course on Zoom on Wednesday the 3rd of March between 8 and 9pm. And the alpha course is an opportunity to find out about the Christian faith. Here's a little bit more about it and more details will follow. Have a great week, everybody. Have a great week. We'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Every day we ask so many questions. What should I wear? What's the weather going to be like? How am I going to fit everything in? But then there are those bigger questions, like why am I here? Where am I heading? Is there more to life than this? I had arrived at an answer to the most important issue that we humans ever deal with, is there a God? And I had arrived there without ever really looking at the evidence. And I was supposed to be a scientist. At 28, I had gotten many of the things that I thought I wanted. You know, my girlfriend was on the cover of magazines, I had a Beamer, and I was so unhappy. It was a realization maybe that I would, I would never find happiness where I was looking for it. I think for so many years, you know, I always just strived to be strong in myself. All I needed was me and my buddies and, you know, would be like invincible. But the truth is, none of us are. I found purpose, I found meaning, I found hope. God took something so broken and made it a beautiful art piece. Alpha is a place where you can be yourself. You can say what you think and challenge everything. No, no question is too complex or too simple. And what your point of view is, is as important as anyone else's. We are going on a journey together, an adventure to explore the questions of life, faith, and meaning. <laughs>